Have a very good evening, all of you. Uh, this is uh, Joe Jacon. Uh, languages, exotic languages, Native American languages, European languages student and a freelance linguistics uh, expert, so to speak. What I'm going to do now is uh, shadowing on this particular topic, which is health and medicine, vocabulary, and uh, this good friend here who is uh, who has a, a channel in YouTube, and the channel is uh, is named Let's Learn English. Yes, the channel is Let Learn English with Bob, the Canadian. He has almost uh, one million subscribers, while I I have roughly one thousand and five hundred good people who are my followers. Thank you, you all. But uh, this channel, my channel, is not meant to, to have a, uh, or to gather a, a huge crowd of people, but uh, rather uh, it is a kind of a laboratory for learning and um, designing probably uh, experiments and uh, interesting material, learning materials for a variety of uh, topics and subjects. So let's uh, start now with this experience in shadowing. The entire medical world as the world of as healthcare. As the world of healthcare, sorry, my, computer sorry, my computer's um, making So today we're going to look at healthcare okay. and medicine. To look I have to tell you uh, before I start though that I am not but I am a doctor. Not a doctor. I am not an expert, not an expert on, medical on the medical field. field or in the medical field, but I do know a few things because I've been to the doctor a lot and I've been to the hospital a lot in the last few years. I'll tell you a little more about that later. Anyways, welcome to everyone who is watching this lesson. Again, we are going to be talking about healthcare today and medicine before we start through. First of all, you're new here. Please subscribe and give me a, a thumbs up. And secondly, Again, like the other live streams, if you have a question, please ask using the form over there in the chat or below in the chat. It takes you uh, to a Google form. It's just a helpful, uh, helpful, me, a helpful way to me to see the questions and answer them carefully. My plan today is to look at about five of my handouts and then stop and answer some questions. So again, welcome to everyone who's Joining. By the way, this is more than a vocabulary lesson. A few people have committed that the Friday morning lessons, the vocabulary is fairly easy, but this is meant to be a vocabulary lesson, but also a listening practice lesson for you. You hear me speak English and to pronounce the words that I am showing to you, and I am also use some words and, and phrases along the way that we think are helpful, I just want to stop to say uh, hi to everyone in the chat. Again, I can say hi to all of you by name. This live lesson on healthcare medicine, so we have a doctor here, so in Canada, doctor is the general term for someone that you go to see if you are feeling sick, if you have been in an accident, and maybe you've broken a bone, so hopefully that hasn't happened to any of you or to any other reason. Sometimes you have more serious illnesses, so you will go to see a doctor in English. There are, in English, there are a lot of different kinds of doctors. Generally, the first doctor you will see is called your family doctor. So I have a family doctor in my local town. That is the first doctor that I go to see whenever I have a question about my health or, or, or if my children need to see the doctor. So my wife, myself, and all of my children have the same doctor, and that's our family doctor. When we go to see our family doctor, we usually, the first person we usually see is the nurse. It's a nurse which might surprise you. Uh, but in Canada, when you visit uh, the doctor, generally the first person you meet in is the nurse, and she just kind of talks to you and asks you how you're feeling after you 
So a nurse is similar to a doctor. A nurse is someone who works in the healthcare field. That's how, how we refer to it in English. The healthcare field, a nurse has less training than a doctor and is maybe, I could say, less specialized, but a very good person at general care. So a nurse sometimes, we will say, is skilled in the practical part of medicine. Nurses are really good at taking your temperature, giving you needles. I don't like needles. And then even so, even diagnosing what is wrong, it will get to some of those words later. But generally in Canada, a nurse has about three years of training, sometimes four or five years of training, whereas a doctor probably has closer to uh, several years of training depending on their specialty. So a nurse is another person who works in healthcare that takes care of you. So again, if you have questions, I'll get to them in a bit. Again, hit to everyone who is there in the chat, lots of people there. I see a few questions in the chat, make sure you do use that forum to ask them. Um, then I'll go over a few about every five handouts. I also will have a look at some special kind of doctor is a surgeon. A surgeon is someone who actually operates in on people. So a surgeon is skilled. And I don't like to say this, but uh, cutting you open and fixing you on the inside. So surgeons generally work in hospitals and yeah, they work in operating rooms and they just really they are really good at, I guess, uh, fixing people. So they do things like heart surgery. They do things like removing kidney stones. So surgeons are the doctors who are extremely skilled at fixing you on the inside. Let's put it that way. They fix you on the inside. There are some, there are many doctors, and in Canada we refer to them as specialists. Specialists. So a family doctor is known as a general practitioner. A family doctor is good at all different parts of medicine, but we also sometimes are sent to a specialist. So let's say I go to my family doctor and he listens to my heart and he says, oh, oh there is a problem. I uh, hear you need to see a specialist. So I will then be sent to a cardiologist who is someone who is also a doctor, but they have specialized in three time treating her patients and treating the heart there. Also, answer doctors that are ear, nose, and throat doctors. So a specialist is another type of doctor who has specialized, which means they have studied more in a certain area. Again, hello to everyone who is watching. Thank you so much for joining this live lesson on medicine. Some, uh, I know someone of you watches this later and you listen to it in the background and that's very cool as well as we are just about to take some questions after I talk about one other person in medicine and that is the paramedic. So a paramedic is someone who has a lot of medical training and they drive or ride in an ambulance. Usually there are there there's two paramedics in an ambulance. It should, I should put the ambulance up for a second. So a paramedic is someone who is a, a first responder. So a first responder is one of the first people that arrives when there has been an accident or a fire or any other catastrophe. And paramedics have extensive medical training and their, their job is to treat people and then get them in the ambulance and get them to the hospital. So paramedics are very, very good. Again, in a sec, I am going to take a couple of questions. There is a few grammar questions there here to remember. We are going to try and stay on topic. Make sure your questions are questions about medicine.
Okay, a uh, good friend, uh, Canadian friend, is uh, uh, has uh, made a very very long uh, video, so I'm going to cut it uh, here for the time being. But I'm going to review some important vocabulary items that he spoke about. First, a uh, nurse, doctor, specialist, and paramedic. But let's hear how these. Uh, words, these uh, descriptions, definitions, are read in uh, real English. I mean, of course, with a machine. So let's hear Bala Bolka with Microsoft David Poise. Some important vocabulary items. One, nurse, first person you see at the doctor's office. Two, Doctor, is a person who has studied medicine. 3. Specialist, is a doctor who has studied a medical specialty. 4. Paramedic, is a first responder at the site of a catastrophe. Paramedics have extensive first aid training. Okay, this is important because I can now review uh, some of my own pronunciation uh, problems. Some important vocabulary items. One, nurse, first person you see at the doctor's office. Two, doctor is a person who has studied medicine. Three, specialist is a doctor who has studied a medical specialty. Specialty. Four, specialty. Four, paramedic is a first responder at the site of a catastrophe. I say catastrophe or catastrophe, but it's catastrophe. Paramedics have extensive first aid training. So I am going to shadow uh, uh, at the same time that uh, Microsoft David is speaking. Some important, Some important vocabulary, vocabulary items. items. One, One, nurse. nurse. First, First person, person you, you see, see at the doctor's, doctor's office. Two, Two. Doctor, doctor is a person, person who has studied, studied medicine. medicine. Three, Three. Specialist, specialist is a doctor who has studied, studied a, a medical, medical specialty. specialty. Four, Four. Paramedic, paramedic is a is first, first responder, responder at the site, site of, a, of a catastrophe. catastrophe. Paramedics have extensive first aid training. So this is how you can shadow uh, or you can make a, a double check shadowing. First, using a, a native speaker, native language uh, source, and then checking your pronunciation and your knowledge on, on particular vocabulary with, uh, for example, in my case, with a synthetic voice, which is, it comes installed in plenty of uh, operative systems for computers. Thank you. So far, we'll see you later. Thank you for your attention.